Why, hello there, Zia Empire and Kingdom peoples alike. Shams Nelson here from Pen and Blade. And um, Saren, what's his name? Saren Nerve over here um, came, uh, uh, came into this Discord and uh, was like checked out my uh, this tabletop RPG I've been working on called World of Chibu. And he made a character and described it to me. So I have this description here. And I thought this would be a fun opportunity to show you guys the uh, style of Chibu that I've been liking to draw. Chibi. I guess I'll call my guys Chibu. So this is the Chibu style. I don't know. Maybe it's exactly the same as Chibi. But um, it's pretty easy and it's fun. And you can do a lot of like creative stuff with like armor and weapons and things like that which is what I really like to do so let's read this description here and then we'll hop into Photoshop and start designing our Chibu so his name is Theron Silvani a wood elf born from his father who was an adventurer oh so I should explain that I have this whole system where um, you can you randomly roll your parents like professions and stuff, what is the people's, um, parents, and I don't know what else I got here, honestly, I started working on this like a year ago, and then I stopped for a while, oh, here, there are some, um, personality traits, so let's see, this is, I think he generated a lot of that, maybe randomly, um, so he's a, a wood elf born from his father, who was an adventurer, who ended up marrying a witch, their child became a paranoid elf well, who was confident in himself. So he's paranoid yet confident. Okay, this is interesting. I already can see the facial expression. He's a master of the blade. Um, and he told me he has a long sword, two hand he wields it as a two handed long sword. He can sneak past enemies easily, and he's a muscle man. Alright, so a buff guy, sneaky, paranoid, confident, master of the blade. Strength two, so it's basically like here's the rating system. Where is it? You roll a d6 for all your stats, and then, uh, so plus two is neat, all right? So he's got neat strength. He's got, uh, dang, he's got pretty good, uh, dex. His constitution is, uh, impressive. It's impressive. Intelligence is, uh, neat. His wisdom is I, and his charisma is wow. <laughs> all right, so where his main attribute, his most, his, uh, his, he's really, um, dexterous all right his hair is brown that goes down to his waist so i'm probably going to do it in this style over here um so i can keep i might use him in the book somewhere or, and it's also just easier to color and i can show you guys this way of uh coloring and stuff it's it's pretty simple um so yeah <clears throat> excuse uh his hair is brown that goes down to his waist and it's fast to do that's what i really like He's on his waist and ponytail. He has a gray streak in it. He wears his leather armor with some fur clothing. Hide, okay. Um, so, okay, leather armor with some fur and a belt that's a little too big for him. All right, I like that. That's going to be look cool. All right, so we can get to designing him, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hold on, I'm going to go grab one of these Chibu so I can get the colors right. But when you're doing it, you're just going to choose a gray. And I'll show you, you don't want to choose, you want to choose a gray with a color in it. Oh, and I'll show you with the color I chose. It's kind of warm gray, I think. What is this? Oh, I got it in the wrong folder. Chibu, Chibu people. Get a JPEG. And pop them in there. So this is a kingdom. And I'll make them the same size. That'll be good. So we can zoom in. Cool, cool. Let's see if my tablet is working properly. I like to do that opacity at 100%. I'm just using the basic brush. And uh, that's all I use for this whole thing. So if you new to Photoshop, this is a really easy way to get into it. And I think there are other programs that are similar to Photoshop, almost the same. So you could use this just a basic brush. You get to have your Wacom tablet. It'd be really hard to do with a uh, pen or a mouse, I think. Pass it your 100%. And then you get something like this. So this is for sketching. Cool. So let's talk about Chibu, guys. So I like to make the head not quite um, uh, as big as the body. And the thing is, it's this is actually tough. I kind of want to make the head smaller just because if I was to make a comic or something, swinging over the head would be tough to put the hands over the head for different stuff. But maybe that's just a um, a problem they have. Actually, that could be interesting that they can't like 
hang from branches and stuff because it's just like anatomically impossible. Anyways, let's get to drawing these guys. So I like to start off with a shape that's not a circle and not a square, but something in between. All right. And um, and you can usually just go like that. And now at this point, I can choose almost any direction I want to go. I can point this way. I could point it this way. I could have it pointing down a little bit. And we can adjust from there. But let's see. So we're going to have a sneaky. He's going to have that paranoid get confident. Confident, I usually have the head looking up. Paranoid, the head looking down. So I think he's going to like, you could have a confident guy who's like, uh, like evil guys when they're looking down, but then they're looking up at you. So I think he might have that kind of look in him. And he's looking to the side. So this is something I really like to do right here. That little, so when you have a skull, this one's gonna see this inside a three quarter angle. This one's gonna get smaller. So you just kind of follow that line right there and put an eyeball. That's it. And then you could put a little nose right there. Put the eyeball there. And you got a pretty decent uh, three quarter angle for these Chibu guys. Shing. Let's give this one a shiny. Shing. All right. So, um, I don't think he wants to be like quite evil, but very suspicious. Furrow brow. Maybe the eyes like that. Got a little bit of a crazy eye. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. So, Chibu nose, just a little, little circle dot thing. Do, do, do. You can go like that. You can go like that. It's basically like a diamond, but then you mess with it. Or even this one is just like that. You can make it round. You can do all sorts of stuff. Just make a little cute button nose. And then the thing is, you also want to keep the face usually more like at least this is going to be like half. And then sometimes even lower. So, um, so he's confident. So let's give him like a, a very slight smirk. He didn't say anything about facial hair, so I won't do anything there. He's got a long ponytail going down to his waist. He's got the fur thing. Okay, cool. So let's leave the hair and the ponytail for now. We'll come back to that. And the ear, see what you're going to do is kind of think of this like, all right, um, like a shape. And then if this was going like that and this was going like this, you kind of get where the ear is. But you can start to do that in your head. We're just figuring it's going to be about the same distance as from this side. Alright, and we're going to fix the head and stuff. Like right now, this shouldn't be there. It could be more like that, right? I'll come back and erase this and put the other stuff later. Because we might want to change the pose and stuff. I should have done little thumbnails. That's a, That would be a smart thing to do. Like, do, 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 But I might not do that this time because I don't feel like it. But I should uh, practice that and then do a video on how to do like quick thumbnails so you can get a good pose. Uh, okay, wait, no, that's actually pretty epic. And then you could have like a bunch of chibus. It's not Nazi propaganda, you guys. People did that way before Hitler. It's actually like Hitler ruins a bunch of stuff like uh, a certain style of mustache and uh, a cool way of holding your arm up in the air. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, kind of ruined it. I feel like that'll last a couple hundred years, but eventually it's going to be like, a, I guess like, there, I'm sure there are evil emperors that had a certain hairstyle or whatever that no one wore for a hundred or a thousand years, and now it's like, what? Who cares if you have the evil Roman guy's hair, hairstyle? All right, back on topic. <laughs> um, so, so sometimes, okay, so a little bit of a neck, okay? I used to not do the neck, but the neck's important for different posing, all right? And when they twist their head. So give them a little bit of neck, and the way you find the neck is basically, hmm, it's an easy way of doing that. You just kind of have to imagine it. Like, here's the head, and the neck's going to be like this, something like that. So, I don't know. It's coming out here, so it's probably more like that. But I'm, it, it, okay, you know what I'll say? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think this out too well before I started. I'll say you do the shoulders first and you just add two lines for the neck. It's chill, it's simple. So let's give this guy a body. Bodies are gonna be like something like that, all right? It's not quite a perfect square, but um, 
It's a little smaller on the top, the hips are going to get wider, even for the males. I know that's not usual for the males, but then if it's a really buff male, you can give him a thing. So this guy's a muscle man. So see, this guy, he looks pretty tough and stuff, I think, but he has, oh, the wider hips. He's got this kind of shape. But this guy, he's specifically a muscle man and a sneaky muscle man. So, um, maybe I can have him, like, can I make him sneaking? And then for the legs, just to go like that. The little thing at the end, okay? For now. That's when you're designing, you're just doing that little thing. And he's got his two-handed longsword. So, um, is he holding in two hands right now? I'm, like, using my hands to figure out how I'm going to hold the longsword. If I was sneaking. Oh, yeah, okay. So maybe he's got it right here. And he's sneaking like that. So you do two circles for the hands, and I like to start with the hands, and then I figure out how would the arms connect. So maybe this one's even like that. It helps to use your own body sometimes. Figure out how you would hold it. So this one, I kind of want, hmm, it's all right. This one's not feeling like, the pose isn't feeling dramatic enough. You know what I mean? So that's when I'll kind of start pushing angles. All right. What if we push the hips out? And I think as I get better, I'm going to learn, like, okay, this works and this doesn't. But for now, i got to just kind of wiggle wiggle the guy around until I'm kind of digging it, digging it more. So I don't like how he's looking at his longsword. So maybe what if he's looking over here? He's paranoid. Maybe he's, uh, the way I show he's paranoid, he's got, like, a couple bags under his eyes. He stays up real late because he always thinks he's going to get assassinated or something. He's a woodland elf, so I kind of want to give him a cloak. And that'll help give some drama to the situation. See that? Oh, ooh la la. With some leaves blowing. See, now we're talking. I'm going to put some leaves blowing. Wow. How dramatic. Let me go back to the description. I remember he's got a big belt. I don't want to forget anything cool. Hair with the gray streak, okay, leather armor, okay, leather armor and belt, so that's what we're going to get to, paranoid elf, confident, master blade, sneaks by enemies, muscle man, venture, witch, I don't think I need to add his parents' things, okay, cool, I think we're, we're, we're looking good, so this is going to be the basic sketch, and let me clean up all this stuff, and I'm going to leave this guy here for now, because I still need to sample him, so now that we've uh, put the bag under his eyes, should I move his mouth all the way back there? I think I should. See, that's the thing with the Chibu characters. You can, um, you're free to move the mouth way over if you need to. I think that's like kind of like a rule of thumb. This guy's head's more up because he's looking more upwards, or his head's tilted more upwards. But yeah, anyways. So we're gonna, one thing you're also gonna wanna do is this little dip where the eye goes in. Like again, we got the skull. And so the uh, skull's kind of like that. So we're gonna get that little dip. These are, these are real creatures. They have true anatomy that you gotta f respect. It's a little bit weird to us. That's because we're closed minded idiots. We're fools. We're knaves. Scallywags, even. Uh. Yeah. I think that's good enough. <laughs> If you, if you have any other um, words that are fitting to describe the human race, um. Yeah, just leave them in the comments below. So, just kind of clean it up. Doo, doo, doo. We're going to give him a little thing here. He's confident. Okay. His clothing. So, maybe at this point, since I've kind of made this pretty messy, I'm going to go ahead and lower the opacity on this layer and make a new layer. Oh, no. Oh, no. The malware is coming. All right. Um, and then make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to use circles, kind of decide that's the shoulder. And I don't think you need to be like, I guess over there I did. I kind of like break it into two pieces. But I feel like just kind of feel it out. Just go, go with it. You can make things ambiguous. That's what I like about this method. Like, uh, but it helps to know anatomy and stuff, of course. But I think you don't have to know quite as much as you need to to draw a good human figure. I couldn't draw a comparable 
normal anatomy human figure in this pose as confidently. Um, okay, so he's got the belt that's too big for him. So this is where things get fun. Let's just wrap that belt around like that. Or maybe have a hanging go a little bit more in the front because it's heavy. And then so when drawing clothing and uh, equipment, you gotta you gotta have it thick. It's gotta have uh, you know like body to it. It's not like uh, superhero suits that just cling to the skin. Um, it's more fun if it's got a little bit of weight. So here I'm gonna maybe put a shoulder thing so you can see it coming on top. And this is fully true of right. I mean, clothing doesn't stick like that, but it's just something that I think is important to keep in mind. All right, and then it's got some fur sticking out because it's a hide made of hide. I think that's good enough. <laughs> so his oversized belt, uh, <laughs> I guess it's holding, it's going to have his, uh, what's it called? The uh, scabbard of his sword. And then I think his legs need to be a little longer. So here we got like the legs are about as long as the upper body. So let's lengthen that out. Because if you're going to make the legs too short, things like the scabbard's not going to make sense. You don't want them too long either because then they're not as cute and fun. So you might do the legs like that. And then you can add feet. Like some of my guys got feet. Some of them, the girls, I usually keep at a point and maybe make the feet really small. And then just add a little thing like that at the end. And on the angle, you can kind of work it out. All right, and then for a boot, I'm going to add something like that, just a little square on top. And for this one, I can give it a little bit of perspective. Oops. Like, like that. Okay. And maybe I'll keep his pants tight. Usually I like to do the Aladdin pants. This is pretty cool. I can, like, do it uh, sewn up. So it's like uh, like there are hides sewn together, something like that. Maybe almost like haphazardly, just all sorts of hides. That's kind of neat. All right, and then the scabbard. Perhaps it hangs like this. That's why it's on this oversized belt. If you saw in the back, there'd be little like straps or whatever that keep it hanging sideways. It doesn't drag on the floor. It's a pretty long sword. Not the longest sword, but it's a pretty good size. So apparently I had it out like this. I guess I went with that with the hand direction. That's what it looks like. And I think that's cool. That's actually a better silhouette. So let's go with that. That's one thing to think of as well, is the silhouette of the of the character you're drawing. You don't want everything bunching over each other. So if you squint at this guy, there's a little bit of empty space here. Like if I made it all black. Uh, I think I can do that actually. Um, no, okay, okay. Let's do that. That'll be fun. It'll only take a second. So, we'll rasterize the layer. Just rast rasterize, rasterize, and then take all this. I'll take out that too, and then we'll go we'll delete, deselect. The little tiny thing here. Delete that. We select, all right, and then we can just go blending options, color overlay, we can make it black. Well, one thing I said you, uh, I didn't like really mention, usually I would actually use a darker, I just started doodling with whatever color I had, I guess, but um, usually I go with a dark color, but not black, and I like a pretty good amount of saturation, but sometimes not, sometimes I'll go a lower saturation somewhere around here. Just depends, but I usually don't like to go pure black. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're sketching, but for the final lines, when we sample it, you'll see, uh, I don't think it's pure black. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's like, you can kind of see what's going on. There's a shield, there's a sword thing going on, and this head shape. So if the sword was up here, and I silhouetted him out, you wouldn't be able to see what's going on. But with the sword out there, you should be able to, if I 
blood him out. It made me even look like he had two swords or something. But no, because I'm. Well, well, anyways. Point is, consider the silhouette. I'm drawing you Chibu. And you will be a happier. A happier. I don't like their Pokemon. I was going to say like a Chibu master. Your Chibu, your Chibu will be happier for it. Don't be so selfish. See, like, if I can get the handle to come out that far, that'll be better for the silhouette. And then maybe if I put the hand down here, would that be better for the silhouette? But I don't care. I want the hand up there. I don't want to make the sword unrealistically wide either. And plus, he's a fast character, so he might have a really uh, short or even no, uh, what is this called? Guard? So, cool. I'm digging that. Oh yeah, I forgot I got ink them and everything. I might ink them in another part because this is actually no. I'll go ahead and at least start. I'll do at least one part of it, and then I think this is enough for that. Let's just do the hair real quick. It's because I'm narrating a lot. Usually this would be faster, but um, but this is cool. I'm coming up with some fun, fun characters. So it's back in a ponytail. So you kind of maybe decide on the hairline, something like that. Actually, that's what I should have done first. Alright, so, I line something like this, and then I can come out from there, sometimes it's good to have one in the middle, and just kind of wrap it back around, keep wrapping, I'm going to get rid of those lines at the end and just make it into a solid shape probably, but I'm just trying to get a good idea, now the ponytail is going to be low, it comes down to his waist. So, hmm. hmm. This ponytail is not, I'm not feeling the ponytail right now. Maybe if it's tied back here and it comes, it's like a huge ponytail. A huge ponytail? Bro? And I'm erasing all my other stuff. This ponytail, man. It's causing problems, bro. I'm all up in my drawing with your ponytail. <laughs> I just had a bizarre moment where I kind of forgot I was recording for a YouTube video, but then I was talking to myself, just saying crazy things. So, hmm. So yeah, I think we're pretty much. What do you guys think of this ponytail? Oh, you love it. Oh, thank you. That's pretty cool. A little, is it a little girly? You know why? Because girls usually have bigger foreheads. Maybe we should have brought the hairline down. Let's see what happens if we do that. This is, uh, he's a muscle man, so we're going to keep him stereotypically masculine. Now it looks like he's wearing a disgusting wig. I think it's all these lines. But I'm not sure. See, I'm not that great with hair. If you watch my Fantastic Anatomy series, where I uh, do the whole like face and everything. I still haven't done the hair episode. There's actually one, it's like numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And whatever, no, one number is missing. And that's the hair episode. Like, I know where it should be in the sequence, but I didn't do it. You feel me? So maybe the hair sticking out too much. It should be a tighter ponytail. We can pull his hair back real tight. Now this is interesting because if I was drawing this on my own, I would not, I would just be like, no, forget ponytail. I'll just make another hairstyle. But I want to adhere to the character and try to work it out. So I guess you guys are going to have to bear with me. But I think we're going to figure it out. So you can see how I kind of like, I'm going to experiment with shapes. Because that's the main thing. If we get a good shape, then we can fake whatever we want. Because it's a little chibu cartoon. So, you know what I mean? No one's going to hate on us too much, I don't think. So, boom. I think that's it with the gray stripe. Right? Isn't that a gray stripe right there? And then, should the ponytail be higher? But then that's going to compromise the sword. How does the... No, the ponytail should be lower, if anything. And the gray stripe maybe go like that. And I'm weird, you guys. Are the gray stripes right there? There, that's cooler. Alright. 
quick and with fire now. He's an elf. I almost forgot. The key feature, does the ear go in front or behind? It goes in front for artistic reasons. But that is the stupidest thing ever because he's going to cut off his ear. But he's not because he's an elf and he knows what he's doing with that blade. <laughs> so, uh, I know. The struggle between artistic, you know, like making something look good and being, uh, what's it called? Being realistic or believable. That's a tough one, man. I can see in movies, I feel like they've abandoned, like, being realistic and believable to just like whatever looks cool is awesome and it makes me cry i can't go enjoy movies because i'm super arrogant and i'm like yo if someone had just let me like walk into that studio i've been like change this change that this movie's gonna be great <laughs> you're almost there fellas it's okay you'll get it i believe in you i mean all the uh, and my, there's about 6,000 subscribers to this channel. I'm guessing there's probably like three or four high-ranking uh, Hollywood executive types watching right now. And they're like, hey, man, we need this guy. And I doubt they can afford me, but I don't know. It would be fun to uh, put them in their place for a moment or two. I'm not going to get back to what i got to do. Alright, I'm feeling this guy. What's his name again? Ther Ther Theron Silvani. Alright, cool. It's paranoid elf. Gray streak in it. Wear with leather armor with the fur. Alright, we got everything, yo. We're chilling. So now we're going to make a new layer. Alright, we'll make this layer low opacity. And uh, we can maybe raise the opacity on this one. No? No, no, we don't want that. We want this. Alright, we're going to go somewhere around here. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to sample this, and let's see what color it is. And please don't be pure black. Oh, yeah, see? There you go. It's a blue. I thought it was warmer. That's interesting. Why does it read? The gray reads as warm. Is the outline cool and the in light gray warm? Could be the case. So I went for dark, pretty saturated blue. I'm going to turn off this opacity thing and we'll make my brush kind of big so I get line variation. I like to get that jitter in my little chibu style. Oops, I'm pressing the button next to the bracket key. You want to press the bracket key if you want to bring your uh, thingy up or down, uh, large or small. Um, up and down, to and fro. What is it? That's what makes the world go round. Uh, for every up, there is a down. For every smile, there is a frown. <laughs> I didn't think that was actually part of the lyrics. Um, for every killer, there is a clown. For every um, silence, there is a sound. <laughs> Uh, to and fro, stop and go. That's what makes the world my bro. I think my computer's not plugged in. Alright, so what I'm doing here defies the chibu way. So we're going to leave the pupil open. We're not going to give them a pupil, actually. We're not going to give them an eye, uh, yeah, pupil. They got an iris, that's it. Alright, and then remember we got, like, I'll draw this out for you guys. So remember, this is the whole eyeball right there. And I'm going to put the iris right about there. And then, but I like to delete this. Delete. Um, uh, delete. Delete. In Arabic, with, like, computer terminology, they use, like, uh, deleta. So that means, delete is delete but made into like Egyptian Arabic. So delata means like delete her. So like in a computer, I guess would be conjugated female. I feel like more than male. So, um, and I'm not the best with my, my Arabic grammar is not the best. I could be wrong about that. But then what else do they have? there would be like, um, oh, there's all this computer terminology that's just like an English word, but like you don't know, it doesn't sound like the Arabic word. 
per se, but then it is. Oh, I know what part of the problem is. See, sometimes you can go in in this stage and mess everything up by not following what you did before. You really want to get it, but in the first stage. But if you just decide you don't care, you can just do whatever you want because you're drawing. You're just drawing a piece on paper. You're just drawing a made-up character that, that exists in the imagine. Uh, 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 where is that place? Not Imaginarium, no, um, I'll figure it out. There's a realm where things that you imagine exist in a very real way. It has a name. And it starts with Imag... <laughs> and it ends with something. Okay. Let's pretend that, oh, his thing is blowing in the wind, bro. Is, is this thing supposed to be blowing in the wind? That's kind of obnoxious. No, I don't want that. To be blowing a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Alright, whatever. Let's go with that. We can come back and change it. I'm not too happy with this ponytail idea. I really want to just do something different. But it might look cool at the end. You never know. Sometimes the stuff that you don't like or you don't think is going to work and you troll through it, you troll through it, is that an expression? You just gonna, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna survive the winter, my, my friend. Now do I have enough charger here? I don't. So that means I have 35% to finish this video. That means you have to suffer through 35% more of my nonsense. So let's talk about hands. From the fist side, from this side, when they're looking at you, you're gonna be something like this. Do, 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 do. Then you put a stick in it. And I have axe. I kill man. I am Pigman. All right. And let's say you draw Pigman hand. What if Pigman had another one? You go Pigman hand. Maybe Pigman hand. You don't have to go all the way up. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And then you add knuckles. I'm gonna make an art course like this for you to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna be so rich. First you make hand, then you have knuckles. And I'm gonna have this accent that's just changes. It's just gonna be some ambiguous accent that I don't even know what I'm doing really. I don't even know if it is an accent. I can't place your accent. It's so exotic. I'll be like, I have knuckles. Look, see, nice, very nice. Oh, all right. Back to the reason. Sometimes when I'm really tired, some things get weird. So that's what we did here. But I don't even give them little fingers because they're chibus, and maybe he's wearing a glove. But the other thing is with chibus, their hands look like that. Look, see, not that big a deal. If they got one finger, if they're pointing a finger, it looks like that. Ooh. All right, if they've got a, if they're rocking out, or if they're a warlock, the hand looks like that. Boop. All right, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, let's get rid of all that. You guys are gonna you're gonna be drawing better chibas than me. I don't appreciate that. It's extremely disrespectful. So you give them a nice little blade. Do, 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 do. All right, he's chilling. He's ready to slay some slime hogs. He's ready to live his life. Only way he knows how. With violence, treachery, and muscles. I didn't really muscle him up too much, so let's just muscle him up right now. Alright, we can give him a nice tricep like that. What is going on? Okay, we gotta change his hand. His hand makes no sense like that. That makes no sense at all. Oh, it would if if his arm was in a completely different position. Alright. I thought. So we make a little square, we're like, alright, let's connect him like this. Alright. Whatever. So in this case, alright, hand drawing 2.0, this is going to be a whole new lesson on you, you got to pay more money for this. Alright. And he's holding a sickle. Look at that. It's a bonus. 
I thought you had to draw a sickle, and I thought you had to draw a hand from this view. So in this case, it's really just almost just like a blob like that. And the thumb would be over here. See, it's coming up like that. But it's all behind all this stuff. You got the thing like that, and it's just like that. Just basically a circle on a stick. Okay. And the sickle is like half C on a stick. Cool. So let's give him a nice little hand glove so we don't have to draw his fingers. And it makes perfect sense. Plus, honestly, you do want to wear uh, some kind of glove if you're going to be fighting with a sword a lot. I mean, of course you want to fight without it to build calluses, so if you have to fight with a sword without it, you know, and even through the glove you're going to get uh, some blisters, you know, friction. But, uh, it's good to wear it because you don't want to have, like, blisters. If you're killing, if you're on a battlefield, you're doing your thing and you're trying to survive and slay your enemies, you don't want to have, like, any other distractions at all. Like, even little blisters that you can ignore, but, like, it might make your hand slip or, like, distract you for one second. Alright, so we had some fur going on here. So this is fur is usually, the way I like to draw fur is you just, you just, alright? Hope that was helpful. We're gonna have it coming out of his armpit a little too. We're gonna keep that warm. You lose a lot of body heat from your armpit and your neck. So, he's got a cloak on. I don't think he's gonna have the fur on his neck though. He's gonna show off his pretty thick chibu neck. Look at that, that's thick. We're even gonna give him a line there. It's very rare for a chibu, but he's so muscular. I'm just going to make like an ambiguous marking in there, and you're going to perceive it as something. And that's how it works sometimes. Like, did I do that anywhere here? I don't know, but if you, you just make an ambiguous mark if it's small. Alright, he's got a loose-fitting t-shirt from uh, Mark Jacobs. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. I got 25%. It was 10% since I freaked out. It's been 10%. That's how we're going to keep track of time in the future, by the way. I'm just, well, I'm, I, you know, I'm f not from the future, but similarly to Merlin, I experience time backwards. So, it's really extremely difficult to explain why I'm going to try. I'm tired. But, um, yeah, in the future, everyone just does whatever I said before. Oh, yeah, uh... To keep track of time by battery life. So their phone does say, okay, I'll see you in 12%. Alright? And then, um, but it depends on what brand phone you have. It, there was a big problem at first, but then they standardized phone batteries. So now every phone has to have batteries that run on the exact same percentage, or else businesses just can't function. So, um, yeah. And all time is relative in the future because we're, we're I mean, the human race, the scally wag, well, waglicious as we are, we do do some things, right? And, um, I don't remember what that thing was, but it was really a wide, it was like a good thing we did. We were pretty enlightened beings. If you guys remind me and timestamp this part, I'll listen to what I was saying and finish my train of thought. Cause that it was a great thought. It was one of those thoughts that just take you by the hand and show you a really a really nice evening, and then respectfully say good night. And um, I don't know. That's it. You never see him again. What did we want from me? I'm not making this stuff up. I'm just telling you what happened. All right, I think we're done. Whoa. We might be able to finish this in 22%, actually. I think we could finish it in 20% if we really give it our all. What do you guys think? You do? Oh. You guys are the best. You guys should, uh, if you're not on, my, on the Discord, man, we got a cool crew there. We're pretty much like NWA, but like a little more gangsta. So, if that's your what you're all about, then uh, swing on by. And I'll probably not put a link in the description, because I'll forget. But uh, if I do, it's in the description. I'll have to 
write little messages in the descriptions too. Probably won't this time because I'm tired. I don't know if I'll upload this tonight. Do, do, do. Look at that. It's got a little dotted thingy. So we're going to add little details. And then I think we're pretty much good, alright? You don't want to get too detailed. And then you leave it rough. You leave it rough. What you want to do is think about line thickness. Alright, you want to think about there's some thick lines. Alright, there's some thick lines. And there's some thin ones, some thinner ones. Yeah, I think we got both of those. And um, that's it. We're good. All right. In that case, we can leave some stuff open and everything. We're going to go ahead and select this gray color. All right. Things are about to get really, really, uh, really intriguing. So we can, we can turn those off now. And we can look at our little Chibu and say, Hey, what's up, Chibu? How you doing? All right. And then we can go back and say, Oh, you know what? I think I'm doing like my ponytail could uh, use a turn a bit of adjustment. Also. All right, all right, relax, relax. I'm on it, I'm on it. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, see, that's uh, it's a lot more realistic. But my hair has weight. It's drawn to the earth by the force of gravity. All right, all right, all right. Let's not get, let's not get out of hand. All right. And so this layer, layer 4, so you want to name your light gray layer, you want to name it layer 4, so you always remember that it's the light gray layer, okay? For other, um, for other layers, it doesn't really matter what you name it. For the light gray layer, you want to name it layer 4. That's going to make a big difference in the later stages. And then you can just be messy, because what you want to do is you want to fill in all the blanks. Okay, and then you can come back your eraser tool and not do that. So look at that blank I didn't fill in right there. But it's okay if you're messy. It's totally cool because and see with the blanks you just kinda like keeping it real. Keeping it real. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some white on there. But I don't want to erase out the white because it's just not a clean way of doing business. Okay, because we aren't gonna want the the white of the eyes to be white. Go figure. But this is if we want to make a transparency so that we can put him on any kind of background we want. Or we could have text go behind him or whatever. Then uh, we got to keep that. We got to keep this clean. We got to keep it on the level. You smell what I'm saying? And the thing is, you don't want to use. See, some people I feel like might be tempted to go with, the, uh, with this magic wand and then click it. But then for some reason it always leaves a little bit of like, ugh. And it always leaves like a pixel there, ugh. It's just not very artsy. So take the time. If you got 15%, you could probably make it. But you probably should hurry up if you have 15%. And, um. Man, yeah, I gotta get to sleep. It's like. Uh, bedtime's in like, what? 70 percent thing is like if if like if i'm going to see you tomorrow i'll be like okay i'll see you when um they could do it this way and then i'm gonna make my brush bigger actually that looks sick dang i got an idea i could have done like a thing behind them oh oh yeah so here's why we can do it all right look this is gonna be cool so i'm just gonna prove a point smugly I'm gonna choose a color, I'm gonna make it he's a woodland elf, but I want it to be a bluish color for some reason. Make a light blue. And uh just go right behind him and go see what I'm saying. Alright, maybe, whatever. And then what if I went like that? That's what I was saying, like, ooh, it is pretty cool. But I don't want to do this right now because we're not trying to. We only got we only got thirteen percent. This is terrible. This is a catastrophe. All right, all right I already made it anyways. All right, cool. And then um, and you do these because you're super. You got to be super hip. So do a couple one of these. This is not part of the Chibu style, by the way. This is an abomination to nature. Actually, I like it when people do this stuff. I think it's pretty cool. 
I'm gonna start stealing it. All right. And then you're gonna put the shades. Oh, oh. You're gonna make a new layer. You can name it whatever you please. I'm not the boss of you. You're gonna do some shadow. All right. And I might not do this properly, just because. Uh. I only got 12%. I guess we can let the battery die and cut the recording just seconds before. That would be extremely exciting. Is this an episode of Draw d and I don't even know, man. I guess so. I guess this is an episode of Draw d and Welcome to another exciting episode of Draw d and Friends and foes alike. Alright, and then I usually just think the light's coming from above. I'm going to make things simple on myself. You know what the other thing I'm going to do? I'm going to create a clipping mask. Boom. See? Layer 4. Remember how we named it Layer 4 because it's the gray layer? You thought I was just saying stuff. Because I like to talk and hear my own voice. And make YouTube videos so that everyone else has to suffer through my voice. And then I secretly laugh. Knowing that I have pulled a slick one over you. Slick one. People, that's what kids are saying. See, I can't paint outside the line now. That's how you teach your children not to defy authority. Oh, you know what? I'm going to dim the screen. That should give me an extra percent or two. I don't think that affects you guys at all. You're going to have a little bit of shade under the nose. you got to remember, this is a 3D guy. You're going to have shade in the eye sockets. You don't want to disrespect the medium by acting like his nose does not have a three-dimensional form. Alright, I think this is going to be fine enough for now. I might come back and refine after, uh, you know, tomorrow or whatever. But uh, let's just go ahead and move along. Because I think we're going to have to put some white in there. So you just sample white. That's a pure white. I do use a pure white. You know, some say it flattens the image. I say shut up and get away from me, you wretched swine. And then I do whatever I please. Or I am, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. That's it. That's the end of my story. So put some shine on stuff. Put a little on his nose. You know. Put a little on his stripe. Alright. And I think you're almost done. You can put a little on his belt if you want. But don't draw too much attention away from his face. That's pretty much the key feature. Alright. And uh, I think that's going to be about it. But... If you want, you can go ahead and crop it. Crop this guy out of the picture. Where did that come from? I don't like that. Oh man, now I gotta find out which layer to. Yeah, that's how you do it. Do, do, do. Get rid of this abomination. Do, there it is. Erase it. This guy, we don't even have to, uh, you have to erase him. I got the disk space. Don't worry, guys. I know you're like, wait, but what about the disk space? Oh, and he doesn't have a shadow. Did I forget to do a shadow? So I gotta do that on the PSD file, but on this guy I'll do the shadow. We got 7%. We could have, we have time for a shadow, right guys? Wrong. Silence. Who asked you anyways? Don't crop. What do you mean do crop? This is getting out of hand. Oh, yep. and then we, oh, 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 never do that. That was an example of what not to do, but if you don't panic, you might survive. But you probably will panic, probably won't survive. Sorry. I'm not here to hold your hand. I'm not here to tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. Shh, silence. I'll tell you when I, we have low battery. It'll be soon, but not right this second. 7%. You know what you could do on 7%? Alright, a dollar for every time. I had seven percent. If I had a dollar, if I had seven percent for every time I had a dollar, I'd be immortal. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure your shadows stay completely horizontal. See that how it's bending back? That doesn't make any sense because they're on a flat surface. And give your shadows a little bit of like a little bit of ruffian in it. Never make anything too unrough because if you make it unrough, then you're gonna have to act. You're gonna have to do it right. You're gonna have to not make mistakes. You're gonna have to be up above the ball in this play. All right. So, I mean, if you can do that, you can do that. You're good. I don't even know why you're watching this video. You must be bored. 
or you must be trolling me. But um, if you are the baldest player, then uh, I don't know. That's it. What's up, bro? I think that's about it. We've got a healthy 7% left to so just tie him up. Give him a little bag under his eyes. Let's accentuate that detail. And um, and then this is what I'm going to kind of think about. Like, see, we only have a couple tones to work with, so I might go up to add some of this white here. Because I want to I wanna give him a little more contrast. I want to make it a little more fun. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even make this whole thing white. That's cool. You can do what you want. Give the blade a good shine. And that's it. I'm going to start my new painting. New series painting with Sham, Sham Ross. Shams Ross. I forget what my name is sometimes. People call me Sham. So I like the side. That's cool. Whatever. But my name does have an S on it. But that's why I'm wondering, should I be Sean Ross and just make it easier on people? Because that seems to be easy. I'll just do whatever I want. I'll see how I feel that day. Should we give a little bit of something like that? I don't know. I don't know. My head's feeling really dark. I think because I made his hair dark, so let's uh, let's just erase that a little something, and then that's it. Oh yeah, good. Now we're giving him a little texture in the hair. I think this is feeling swell. All right, you guys. Um, we have just completed drying. Put some ivory belt. So. Yeah, a little dark down here too. Alright, cool. That's it. Now, alright, fine. Alright, hold on, just chill. Alright, now, hey, woo, we've completed drawing. Uh, uh, ooh. They're in Silvani from World of Chibu. You'll probably end up in this book somewhere. So if you want to check out World of Chibu and get in on the beta, I need some people to help play test this is what I imagine it's like in color. These are the guys who said, uh, um, if you want to come play test it and stuff with me, then hit us up on the Discord. If I forgot to put the link, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you real quick. And that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. Draw some Chibu characters, everyone. And send them to me.